Hi, I am Joel from the professional services team at Firewalls.com. Ensuring the safety and access of your Fortinet device configuration is paramount. In today's guide, we'll walk you through the meticulous process of backing up your configuration having a reliable backup safeguards your setup against unforeseen events and aids in seamless transitions when upgrading or migrating devices for example you may need to reset the fortigate to factory defaults or perform a tftp upload of the firmware which will erase the existing configuration in these instances the configuration on the device will have to be recreated unless you have a backup that can be used to restore it. You can use the GUI or the CLI to back up the configuration in 40OS or YAML format. You have the option to save the configuration file to various locations, including the local PC, a USB, FTP, and TFTP servers. FTP and TFTP servers are only configurable through the CLI and in YAML format, configuration files can be backed up or restored um, on an FTP or TFTP server through the CLI. So let's jump into the lab and let me show you on step-by-step -step instructions for the GUI. Welcome to our lab FortiGate firewall. Um, first of all, I want to let you know that we are under a global administrator. Um, on the top right corner, you'll see the user. I am going to click on configuration and backup. Here we're going to do um, a backup. We're going to direct it to the local PC. If you'd like to do a USB um, backup, you'll just have to plug in the connect the USB to the firewall and then this option will become available. We're going to use the 40 OS format and um, we are going to do encryption. I'm just going to do test for this example, um, but it is recommended to secure backup configurations with encryption. Um, this will prevent unauthorized parties from reloading your configuration. So enter the password and then you enter again to confirm it. And then this password will be required to restore the, fact, the configuration. Click OK. The browser will prompt you to download and save a .conf file. And this file is your configuration backup. We advise that you store this backup file in a secure location, uh, maybe not just digitally, but your team might also consider having um, a printed version of the essential configurations. This is also where you could take advantage of using cloud storage, external drives, um, or even a secure server location. Remember, the frequency of backups should mirror the changes and updates to your firewall configuration. After significant modifications or at regular intervals, ensure you have a um, recent backup at hand. Backing up your configuration is more than a best practice. It's a pillar of responsible network management. We trust that this guide fortifies your backup practices. And as always, we are here to assist you on your cybersecurity journey. Check us out at firewalls.com.